Hi goddess. Hi goddesses. It is, oh, I have an hour. Okay, it's one o'clock on March 2nd and I am on my lunch break in my hotel in LA um, at my NLP practitioner training. And this is a seven day, seven or eight day training. And so I'm here at my hotel and I'm on the lunch break now. So I just am doing like some reorganization of my room. And I figured I would come talk to you, answer any questions that you have. Um, you could also request to join my live and we could talk about um, what's on your mind or the outcome that you want. Uh, if you want to come live with me, I think that would be fun for a minute. So just request to be in the vid and then we could talk live for a couple minutes. I only have an hour, so I just went to get ice. Um, obviously, like I've never stayed in a hotel for this long. I'm here for like seven days, and so I'm like literally feng shuiing and like kind of like redecorating um, the hotel room. So first things first, I'm obviously like live a zero clutter life, and that's really important to me, especially like getting comfortable and unpacking like on day one. Um, so like there's like all this coffee stuff here that like I'm not really gonna use. So I'm like just optimizing it. Um, yeah, like honestly, I don't need any of this stuff. They already came today and like emptied my trash and everything, which is like, I love them for that. So anyways, I wanted to also give an update. Um, this training is like already very intense and it's goddess. Like I had been telling you that I was really stressed out on money and it's funny because my, my friend Brenda, who's actually a master NLP trainer um, coach, she was telling me, like, you don't need to spend 10 more, 10, 10 grand, like, because I just invested in another business coaching thing. She was like, you don't need to spend 10 grand on another business coach. You need to actually put out an offer and actually sell. She's like, you never sell. And, like, she's like, you don't need a business coach. Like, you just need to sell something, you know? Like, and so I was like, wow, like, that's interesting. Like, as a coach, I, I realize that a lot of coaches actually, they struggle with, um, they struggle with money, too. And a lot of people who, like myself, like, yeah, I'm probably not going to drink Lipton tea, so I could just throw it out. Like, if it's not a hell, it's a, remember, if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. Any, everything takes up space in your energy field, so why be surrounded with hell no's, right? So, um, so Brenda was like, you just need to, like, sell. Like, you never sell. And if you follow me, you know. Literally, if women want to work with me, they have to, like, privately, you know, ba ba basically ask me because I don't advertise. Um, okay, so I'm con consolidating these two trays. So all of this, let me show you. So all of this was, like, up here. Look. And, like, the coffee tray and everything. And I just felt like that is, like, not ideal. So I'm not going to use any of that. <laughs> so I'll keep the coffee, I guess. But I will just put it, like, down under here. I might have coffee. It depends if it's decaf. And then I'm actually just going to, like, put it away out of sight. Because this is, like, I feel like this is, like, really busy, in my opinion. And so, like... So basically, I have the Keurig up here only because it's plugged in. Uh, I have ice here, a water. This is like my beverage station, I guess. And then I actually brought my Nutribullet so that I can make a protein smoothie. But I didn't have ice this morning <laughs> when I was getting ready. So um, I just got some ice now. So I'm going to re-blend my... Um, and then if you wanted to see what I had brought for snacks, um, here you could see I brought like... Protein powder, some whole wheat bread with almond butter, almonds as a snack. Hey, Swag Champ, thank you for the gifts. Some keto cups, some pistachios, and I have, like, keto protein bars here. It's, like, a love good fats bar because I'm, like, pretty much still, pretty, still pretty much keto. I mean, I feel like it's just, like, more like my lifestyle. I feel less hungry, and so anyways, I wanted to say hi really quick. Um... I have to get back down there in like exactly an hour. Uh, so I'm actually gonna go live on YouTube and talk like more seriously, but I just wanted to come, since I usually go live on TikTok, I wanted to come here first. And here's my desk setup. I'm trying to keep the room like very 
minimal. So here's like my my guide that like I've been taking notes in like so far all day today. And you will notice, let's see. So this is like where we left off. And I'm doing a really good job of like keeping track of like the time and like what we're like what we're learning basically. So here's like the notes that I've taken so far today. This is seriously um, going to set me up to be the friggin' best coach ever. Like, I think I had, like, imposter syndrome before, and that's why, even though the clients I've had have experienced transformational results, I've always felt like, okay, I have a psychology degree, um, but I'm not really, like, like, I don't maybe know how to coach everybody. And so now that I am, like, doing this NLP and like literally becoming an NLP practitioner in the next seven days like all day so crazy like how am I gonna sit for that long but oh my gosh like it's already amazing <laughs> like this is literally the most powerful stuff that you could learn so um and anyways my YouTube is just youtube.com slash clarity by Jackie and um so I'm gonna go live on there because I have my like webcam and everything I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna have a snack really quick and they already came and cleaned my room today after I left this morning. And this, um, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot to say on the hotel so far. I have amazing view. I'm on the very top floor. I got upgraded. So for this, I'm so grateful. So I have like a, I don't want to say 360, but I don't know if it would be like 180 or 90 degrees. <laughs> I'm not sure. So I'm right next to LAX. That is the Sheraton right there. And this is called an executive king. So basically I had a king before and then they upgraded me. So it's a king size bed, which I really like, like seriously. I, it's so big. <laughs> I, I mean, I feel like seriously, like one, two, I feel like it could like very comfortably fit like at least three people in here. And I slept freaking horrible because my friend is also staying here at this hotel. She's a content creator. Her name is Empress Collective. So her real name is Alexi, fucking icon. Like literally, I have looked up to her for so long. She really encouraged me on like TikTok. I think she has like 200K now at this point. And she just happens to be staying here at the same time. How friggin' amazing is that? Talk about a manifestation, like definitely one of my favorite manifestations to date, that I'm literally staying in a hotel and get to spend quality time with one of my role models and mentors and friends. Um, that's amazing. Like when you, f you see somebody as a celebrity and then you start being friends with them and you're like, oh my God, like I'm truly like, oh wow, they have a really good view of LA. If I zoom, probably you could see, look, it's like the actual skyline. Look at all of that. How cool is that? So Alexi, um, well, so we got together last night and what I wanted to tell you why I slept really bad is because we're both empaths and intuitives and we were reading our birth charts and stuff and she was like, um, I asked her, I was like, so some weird stuff has happened to me in the last, like in, in a 20 minute live, three different things happened to me. Like I felt somebody pull my hair, I felt a hand on my leg, I felt like the presence of somebody standing behind me. And I said to her last night, she was in my room and I went to hers, and I was like, I'm sorry, but have you felt anything like spiritual here? And she's like, you mean like, is this place haunted? She goes, I have, she's actually been staying here for a week. She was like, I'm on my third room, I moved twice. She was like, the first night that I was staying in my room, the, it's an automatic motion sensor that turns on the bathroom light. She was like, the first time I was staying here, the light turned on in my room. And so she's like, so now I moved rooms. She actually moved twice, so she's on her third room in a week. And, um, and now she was like, I just sleep with the light on so that it doesn't scare me at night. I could not sleep. So an NLP, an NLP practitioner, it stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. And let me just tell you what, like, the book defines it as. And look at my pretty signature. So cute. Thank you for asking. So it stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. Let me tell you exactly um, the breakdown. It's really about, like, working with the subconscious mind, which I got very into after becoming a clinical hypnotherapist. So here we go. So neuro, the first word in, in NLP, like, Neuro Linguistic Programming. So number one. It says our nervous system, so the neuro part of this word, so it's N-E-U-R-O. 
it says our nervous system or our mind which we use to experience the world through our senses so it's vi uh, so it's like basically stands for like vacog and th this is what this means look so right here okay so see how it's like vacog so it's visual auditory kinesthetic olfactory and gustatory okay so that's part one so then the second word is linguistic which is the language and other communication we use to store experience give it meaning including the things we experience in our minds so it's basically how the, the linguistic part of this it people think it's like language but it's actually it's like mostly pictures sounds and feelings and also our self-talk okay so this is like why people say NLP is so powerful because you're literally learning to reprogram people's subconscious mind including your own and then programming, the third part of the word, neuro-linguistic programming, stands for the programs, patterns, and strategies we run in our mind to achieve our goals. So it says, NLP is how we use basic language of our mind to consistently achieve the results that we want in life. Um, so some people also call it an attitude and methodology that leaves a trail of techniques, um, the realization that our words don't describe the world we live in, but determine it. So basically, Tony Robbins, this is what Tony Robbins uses in his coaching, and it basically means that um, the way he says it is that, like, change your language, change your life. And so, for example, um, so, for example, all information that comes in, we delete, distort, and generalize. So that's, like, our internal representation, and then that creates our state, and then our state also is influenced by our the location, the mood we're in, our language, memories, meta programs such as are we an introvert or an extrovert? Are we a perceiver or a judger? Our beliefs, values, and identities, which I talk all the time about, right? So we get information through the VACOG, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, olfactory, and gustatory. And then we delete, distort, and generalize at step one after taking it in. Step two is that it is totally determined by the state that we're in. So we get information from here. And then depending on our mood or the location or our personality, basically, and also determining our state, basically the world we take in after going through all of our filters in our mind, the filtering process creates our state. And then our state like our physiology, for example, creates our behavior, and obviously our behavior creates our results. So that's why they're saying, like, change your language, change your life. And, um, <laughs> hey, Moonja, my goddess. So I actually did ask um, Alexi, I was like, we should go live, like, let's get dinner, um, go live, get, you know, go down and have coffee in the lobby. Um, but we ended up just doing girl time, like it was, she wasn't in the state to go live, um, and it was so life-giving. I stayed up a little bit too late, but, um, and I didn't really sleep well because Alexi was like, yeah, I think I agreed that this place is like definitely haunted, and I'm like, Alexi, stop, and then she started telling me some ghost stories, and I got freaked out, so I did not sleep well last night at all. <laughs> I literally had, um, my eye mask on. <laughs> And I was literally afraid to open my eyes. And then every time I would fall, like start to fall asleep, I would like twitch and wake up because I was really scared. So I was like praying all night. And then this morning I got a wake up call and I like, I like went on my stuff. I don't know. I just, um, it's called nervous system regulation. So, um, yeah, that was weird. So, but I don't really feel a lot in this room. And I went to her room and she's, we both didn't feel like spiritual presences in each other's rooms. I only felt some weird stuff when I was in the bathroom. So um, I actually set the light so that it won't turn on uh, based on the motion sensor because I don't want to get scared like that because I will totally, like, that might push me over. Like, I'm very sensitive. So uh, literally obsessed with you, goddess. I pray every night. What would clarity do? Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. That's a, an amazing compliment. I'm happy to be your... Um, like a guidance and a second opinion. Everyone follow Empress Collective. Uh, she's actually not able to get on TikTok right now. She can't remember her password. But that goddess, and you know what's crazy? She looks exactly how she, um, she looks in real life how exactly how she looks online. So I always appreciate that. I'm a chicken. Hey, Megan. Oh my God, that was crazy on our YouTube. 
I always remember during that December, like what, like December 7th, the Cooney and I like live YouTube and you and my client Haley were talking because you guys are both lawyers. That was so much fun. Like I'll always remember that. Okay. All right, goddess. I'm going to go on YouTube. I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to go potty. I will talk to you. <laughs> Megan's like, I have to keep it so real. <laughs> that is why we get along, goddess. <laughs> All right, goddess, I will talk to you soon. Um, I'll probably go live on YouTube and Instagram more um, because I feel like any, like in my experience, yeah, I like, I see people on TikTok, but if I'm like truly want to have their influence in my life, I go to their Instagram or I stalk their YouTube. So I will see you guys more. I'm going to start going live more on Instagram because it's just easier. It posts right to my feed. With TikTok, I have to download the video, then upload it to YouTube. So, all right. Love you, goddesses. I'm so proud of you all. Seriously, the fact that you even follow me, I know that you're so self-aware and you're trying to grow and heal exactly like I've been doing, it's focusing specifically on for two years. I always... Oh, hey, Hannah. I always watch your lives on YouTube. Oh, that makes me feel better. I knew I was uploading them for someone. <laughs> All right, goddess, I will talk to you in a little bit.